Howdy folks, Meandering Mike here. It's uh, the beginning of September. Me Warmut's doing his painting challenge. I had mentioned earlier on my channel that uh, because I'm taking a class, an online class in card game design, I needed to cut my my goals down a bit. Well, I also got sick <laughs> last week. <sighs> really sick. <laughs> Thursday night, Friday. Slept almost all Friday. Still recovering. Uh, don't have COVID. I tested negative, but the symptoms feel like, mm, you know, when taking a COVID vaccine, all achy, a little bit trouble breathing, but my oxygen saturation is good. Just uh, my tummies. <laughs> I've started to get gasto intestinal stress a bit. Uh, so I'm trying to make sure I drink enough water, eat the right kind of foods and get as much sleep as I can, but sometimes too hard in the fever dream. So anyway, you don't want to listen to all that. I'll probably cut out half of that or all that. Who knows? So this is what I'm going to be painting. It's going to be reduced from my original goal and reduced again. So for example, these Akanami Tongue Demons, they did not get glued. They are out. So let's them back in the boxes and remove them. But dump, bump, but dump, bump, bump. They're cool, but oh, I did figure out that you need to use both bases. They are resting their on their forearms and sort of up and leaning forward in a weird pose. So you really need the the back base and this front base. All right, so those will be a later time. All right, so we are going to do. We had we had two taco baki cannons, and I definitely want to do one. They're they're uh, you know two two figures, two crewmen with the base, and they need to add a head. So the crewmen aren't too difficult. There's two parts to the base of the cannon. One thing on the top, one like hexagonal muzzle break. You know the four axles. So that's pretty easy. It's not too hard. But I had two of them. I'm just going to do one. I still need to glue it, but I want to get a Takobaki cannon done. All right. The Takobaki spearmen. I'm not going to do those. There were six of those. That'll become a possible stretch goal. Probably not. <laughs> I'll just do one of these. So I'm going to keep these out here. Put them aside. Oh, that was tongue demons. I'll move that over. All right. So the bone eaters, we're definitely going to do. Those were left over from last... Uh, time was it beginning of the year stretch goal which so they got glued and uh, primed but never got painted so I'll go ahead and do these there's six of those I will probably do three or four of them I won't do them all that's one of the things I'm gonna do I'm gonna cutting down the, the, the sets that I'm doing and cut them down in a half or a third or two-thirds whatever we're, we're gonna <laughs> make it work for us all right, so the bone eaters we will do. All right, I really like these void hives. These are the hives themselves. Each one of these is three parts. So I'll probably do one or two hives. There are 12 of these flying swarms. So I will probably do four, six, or eight flying dudes. They have, you know, four, six, <laughs> two, two hives with four each or one hive with six or something like that. But I won't do all three. I won't do all 12, but I'll do a variety of those. It looks pretty cool. They weren't too hard to build. Uh, they'll be fun. That's cool. I like them. So we will do that. All right. So that's what these guys look like. All right. Talk about the cannons. Uh, so... The other guys here, uh, they're in the mm -mm -mm Temple of Shadows Deluxe Expansion, which I didn't pull the box out. So since we're not doing the Takobaki Spearman at this time, um, I did almost finish gluing the skin crawlers. They're the ooey gooey things, kind of like a purple worm, but not exactly. Um, <clears throat> that'll be a stretch goal. It won't be hard to finish gluing them. And if I do, I will paint one or two of them. 
These guys are really easy. They just had nothing to assemble, just clip. Uh, what was that called? The Chinobaki floating lanterns. They are resting on their tongue. So they're actually flying. Uh, but I there's 12 of them. I primed them all. Uh, again, four, six, or eight of them. Something like that. Uh, whatever I'm having fun with for those. So, <sighs> Void Hives and Swarm Dudes, a Takabaki Cannon, Bone Eaters, try to do all six since that's a leftover, no Akanami Tum Demons, no Tobaki Spearmen, and one third to one half of these Ochinobi Baki, whatever, I can't remember exactly the the phrasing of it. Uh, and then those skin crawlers, there's three of them, and just like, like a little little tiny side ooze needs to be glued on and then the glued on the base. So that'll be a stretch goal for that. So that's it for my mini warm-up go the distance challenge. I do not know how much I'm gonna get painting. I wanted to be painting this Saturday. I've got an assignment do on Monday. Yes, we actually have class <laughs> on Labor Day because uh, the instructor will be out of town the next day on Wednesday. Our class is on Monday and Wednesday. So we will have class Monday this week, but not Wednesday. Uh, so I need to get that done today. I want to get them in before the day that they're due. So if the instructor wants a chance to look over them he has a chance to ahead of time. Uh, yeah. So this is interesting. I got this on like a sale. Flex e-file, flex pad, five files. So it was like, it was like five of them for the price of four by buying them in a set. Coarse, medium, fine, polisher, finisher, and extra fine flexi pad. They're all, they're all flexi pad brand, but. Flexi file, flex pad. All right, so eh, more fun. I did also order more plastic glue. Unfortunately, the Army Painter plastic glue was out at Noble Light Game, even though they said they were in stock. They were not, so I am getting a couple of other kinds, and I might need to shop around. And normally I like these, uh, but right now when it's getting down low, it gets hard to, to squeeze out in the right drips. You know, I put a paper clip in there to make sure that's it's you know wide enough um but it can be a real pain in the butt getting that glue out and not too much <laughs> get some glue flowing and not too much so we'll we'll see what we can have going there all right so mannering mike man cave of madness uh woo, we're getting it down under 10 minutes uh i'm gonna go take a nap after this as i start to load this i mean really this thing is busting my butt um and I've tried to take as many naps as I can, but boy, they are not <laughs> that restful. When your brain is having fever dreams, when my brain is playing Age of Empires 2 and StarCraft 2, and my brain is in these situations where I can't win, it's like, oh, I gotta build more archers and archery ranges, but nothing ever builds. So <laughs> I'm sure those of you who have never played the game doesn't mean anything. If any of you have played computer games or you have played way too much, or or you've played a bunch, and then you get in a feverish state, oh my God, your brain can just be going crazy fixating on some of this stuff. So anyway, that's that's where I'm at. <laughs> so take care of y'all. Uh, I'll, I'll just try to do like one little update a week. Um, and at the very end, I'll, I'll show all the painted stuff and talk a little bit about what I chose for color scheme, inks, basing that, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I've, I've got the cough, but not an extreme cough like COVID. I did test my oxygen saturation, it's fine, uh, but I was COVID negative. However, if you don't do it right, it's easy to get a false positive, false negative, sorry. Anywho, Henry Mike, Man Cave Menace, take care. Out under 10 minutes, ciao. Take care of your minis. It'll take care of you.